a simple formula on how I test my stuff. I call it the 100 QP test. And really in essence what it means is that if I can get 100 qualified people to see or hear or visit my idea, I need at least one of them to buy or opt in or subscribe in order for me to think if it's valid to go on to the next steps where you're actually putting some serious cash. Okay, I scrolled for Facebook for five minutes and I found this. Uh, it looks like they are some super goofy uh, subliminal uh, socks. Even though I'm a nerd and I'm heavily invested into internet marketing, I think the easy part of this is getting 100 qualified people. The hard part is having an idea that's worth someone taking out their wallet and giving you some cash or even just giving out an email. I'd say within another 10, 20 minutes, you can get your product up on any website. And then the game is about getting the right people, those qualified people to that page to see if they will buy or opt in. Google's a great place because when people type into Google, it's because they want to either learn or buy or take action. So uh, it's very obvious if someone types in animal feed socks, they're probably looking for exactly what I'm gonna sell them. Uh, real time analytics for the product that I just launched. Um, and so everything seems to be going as planned now. A few moments later. I'm almost 50 clicks into my 100 tests and um, I'm looking, you know, oh, hey, that could be one right there. Um, I'm looking really in particular at my keywords and all my keywords seem to be pretty spot on. So I can say all the clicks that I've had are accurate. Let's see, I'm gonna check that sales uh, ding right now, let's see. Okay, cool, it was indeed another 